Digital representation. Information is represented and stored in a digital binary format within a computer. The term bit is an abbreviation of binary digits and represent the smallest piece of data. A bit can have only two possible values, a one digit or a zero digit. A bit can be used to represent state of something that has two states. To convert a decimal number to binary, there are six steps. First, all you have to do is to divide the number by 2. Second, get the quotient and the remainder. Third, bring down the quotient. And fourth, divide it by 2. And the fifth, get the quotient and the remainder again. And six, do it repeatedly until the quotient results to 0. And then copy the remainder from bottom to top. And that is the binary equivalent. We have here our example, decimal number 30. And we have to convert decimal number 30 to binary number. We have to remember our steps in converting decimal to binary number. We have to record our quotient and our remainder. So, start. 30 divided by 2, our quotient is 15. And our remainder is 0. And 15 divided by 2, our quotient is 7. And our remainder is 1. And 7 divided by 2, our quotient is 3. And our remainder is 1. And 3 divided by 2, our quotient is 1. And our remainder is 1. And 1 divided by 2, our quotient is 0 and our remainder is 1. Since our quotients become 0, we have to stop the division. And now, we have to record our remainder from bottom to top. So, the binary number equivalent of 30 is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. For the checking, the equivalent binary number of 30 is 1, 1, 1, 1, and 0. Name it as our multiplier. And for our equivalents, you have to observe or take note of the series. No? We have the series 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and so forth. You may ask, why do we arrive on those series? We arrive on those series because binary number has a base of 2. When we say a base of 2, 2 is our multiple. Or, in the other words, it is a multiple of 2. So, to arrive on those series, we have to multiply the number by 2. For example, 1 times 2 equals 2. Then we have to place it in the second digit. And again, we have to multiply the 2 by 2. We have 4. And 4 times 2, we have 8. And 8 times 2, we have 16. And so on and so forth. To get the result, we have to multiply the multiplier and the equivalent. So, in our example, we have to multiply 0 times 1 equals 0, and 1 times 2 equals 2, and 1 times 4 equals 4, and 1 times 8 equals 8, and 1 times 16 equals 16. Now, to get the decimal value, we have to add the results. So, we have to add 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 and plus 0 and that is 30.